Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? I hope everyone is doing well. Today is October 13th and it is Friday. So, it is Friday the 13th. And I thought that it would be fun to do another stamping video. You guys have really been enjoying my stamping videos. And I said, why not record another stamping video? So, we are going to be using probably the only like kind of halloween plate that i have i don't really have many halloween plates i was looking through all of my halloween plates or all of my plates as you can see here and i really only had one halloween plate i have a couple kind of like fall leaf plates or like um, plates that you would use in the fall with like leaf images on them and things like that but i I didn't really have anything Halloween and the only plate that I could find was this one right here so we're going to use this one today I'm not a huge you know Halloween person not huge into Halloween so this is the only plate that I have maybe I'll you know eventually get a few more plates that'll be fun but yeah I'm just I'm not huge into Halloween so that's why I only have one plate I guess but the holidays are coming and I have plenty of brand new plates that I haven't even reviewed for you or with you guys. So I'm excited to do that. And these are some designs that I had come up with in the past that I had used the foils on. I know in the previous video I was letting you guys know that man I should have showed you guys the little designs that I came up with now this is a stamp and I did use foil on the leaves there and so the previous video I showed you where you can stamp and use foil at the same time so these are just a couple of examples that I had I definitely want to go back into doing more of like nail art design videos so i'm definitely gonna get back into doing that i'm pretty sure that probably some if not all of these designs i had showed on camera before so there's a couple of more kind of ideas towards the end here that i did use the foil on as well so it's a lot of fun you can be really creative with these foils. You not only can use the foil like on a whole nail, um, but you can do different things like this. So stamping and foils is definitely a lot of fun. If you didn't see uh, kind of the method that I use to, or when I'm using the foils and stamping, I did do a video on it and I will leave that link below if you did not watch it and I'm gonna show you a few more examples here of some designs where I used the foil so again so much fun a lot of fun uh, I think that it's a great idea to incorporate stamping and foils and I really just wanted to show you a couple of ways in which you can do that. So right here is a couple of more examples of what you can do with the foil. Look how pretty these leaves are, multicolored. So much fun. You can be and be you can be so creative and get so creative with these stamping plates. These foils are really I don't even know the word that I am looking for, but you can use these foils, as most of you know, not only like on a full length nail, but you could create a French look with these foils. You could, again, do a full length nail. If you would like, you can kind of just do little patches. Kind of the possibilities are endless. Here I accidentally showed my face and I didn't want that so <laughs> at least not yet. Um, I've always thought of doing a face reveal and that's just not something that I am comfortable with doing. Uh, I don't really know. I'm not sure why but I do feel like eventually you know maybe if we get a little bit farther along you know with my goals and you know how kind of where i want this channel to be uh 
But eventually I'll do a face reveal. Maybe. Just, I don't know. Um, this is an Ann channel, so there's not really a need for me to show my face either. Unless that's just something that my viewers kind of just wanted. Um, but, I don't know. I mean, everything that I do is... You know, on my channel, for the most part, is with my hands, and there's no need really to show my face. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll work on that someday. That might be fun in like a vlog or something. Be something a little bit different, but we'll see. We will. And you know what? And I say nail channel, but I do kind of have different things on my channel that doesn't always have to do with nails. I would say, but I think for the most part, when I upload a video, it has something to do with nails. So that's why I would consider it a nail channel. But I like to uh, do different things. So you'll see different things on my channel. So here is a beautiful pickup. And... I have done a couple of nail videos already with kind of like how to, you know, like how to videos or how to stamping videos. So if you do not know how to stamp, I definitely have a couple of videos that might be able to help you. And I will leave them linked down below. And definitely stay tuned because I am going to be doing some more stamping videos. There are some plates that I have that I have not reviewed with you all yet and I thought that would be fun as well I am still working on my storage for all of my plates I kind of don't want them in different you know little binders or little holders for now I think I like them like that but eventually I think I want to get something a little bit bigger that can house all of them you know all together so I'm going to be working on that I love stamping. It's so much fun. I remember when I first started stamping, I just I just didn't get it. And it takes patience and practice. So, if you are new to stamping and you tried it once and you did not get it, I would recommend that you continue to keep trying. And if you don't pick up an image, it might be something that you're using or, or not using. So, you know, if you have a stamping polish that seems maybe a little bit thin you might want to get a, another brand and that polish might be a little bit thicker for you i have also made a video on regular nail polish actually working for stamping so you can try that as well if you do not have stamping polishes and also if you are not happy with the image this is why i am doing these designs on a gel kind of swatch here if you are not happy with the image it is very very easy to uh, get rid of the image you just want to use a little bit of acetone on the image and i'm going to show you just in a second on how to do that here is a great way to clean your stamper i love to use a lint roller a piece of tape is fine if you do not have one. I want to work on getting different sized stampers so i do have a couple of different sizes but i i'm trying to find one that is maybe an XL you know like an extra large stamper I know that there are some out there I just need to do my research and kind of figure out which companies have kind of larger stampers so if you know of a company that has kind of uh, larger stampers you know, maybe like double this size. Please let me know in the comment section below. Because when you are doing a longer length nail, it is just easier to have a section of, you know, the stamper head that is just bigger. For those bigger images. I have a lot of small image plates. I don't really have a lot of plates, you know, where the images are big. And also... You know, a nail is only so big and there's only so much image you can actually fit on a nail. And sometimes you have to double and triple up depending on the size of the nail. Uh, but, I don't know. We'll see. You have to excuse me for the way that I sound. I am so sorry, but I am still on the mend and getting back on track you know after being sick for i think this is going on two weeks now but i'm much better than what i was 
trying to keep myself healthy. You guys be careful out there. There's a lot of flus and other things going around. So please be careful out there. You know, there is something about a silhouette image. I love, you know, really detailed images. But for some reason, I love a nail art design that has kind of silhouette images in it. I just think that... I'm not really sure why I like it better than a really detailed image, but I just think it looks so cool. Like, does this not look amazing? Look how cool. It's like they're... I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know how to explain it. I can't. Almost like it's like a shadow. Not a shadow. I can't explain it. Do you guys know what I mean? Um, <laughs> I'm, I really... Yeah, I I don't know. I would not be able to explain it to you. I'm not really sure why I prefer a silhouette image over something that is extremely detailed. Now, if we can get detail and silhouette, yes. A mixture of the both, I love that. Like this right here, I'm probably going to bring this plate out again and and maybe do some some more nail art for you guys but if you are not happy with an image again it is very very easy to get rid of that image with a little bit of acetone now depending on how you scrape or even sometimes if you're not quick enough with picking up the image you can get a image to kind of distort and not come out correctly. So this is a, you know, or this is something that you want to do fairly quickly. You've got to be quick with the polish. You've got to be quick with scraping it, putting the polish down, scraping it, and picking up the image. That process has to be fairly quick. And then you need to get rid of what you don't want on the stamper. And so when you put the stamped image on the nail you really don't want to leave anything that you don't want on there although it is very easy to get rid of whatever you don't want on the nail i just like to get rid of it before i put it down if you watched this video so far i appreciate you so much i hope you enjoyed it i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching bye